Hey y'all, it's Stephanie here again with Blackjack and Blaze and today I thought I would show y'all all of Blackjack and Blaze's guinea pig supplies and how I organize and store all of it. So here's Blackjack drinking some water and eating some of his pellets. There he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there is li there's his little white patch. So cute. <laughs> Say hi, Blackjack. He's like, no, Mom, I'm eating. <laughs> okay, and Blaze, he's down here in the pig glue just resting. There he is, taking a little snooze. There are his little piggy feet. <laughs> okay, so I thought I would show y'all what I store underneath um, their cage. And I just have these containers and the first container has some of their um, Western Timothy hay that I got from Doctors Foster and Smith. Then this middle container has Aspen wood shavings that I got from Petco. And then in the last container I have some natural care fresh bedding that I also got from Doctors Foster and Smith. And um, these white containers with blue handles, I got those from Dollar General. I don't know where I got the middle one from. I'm pretty sure from Walmart or something. But yeah, that's what I store underneath their cage. So right next to their cage, I have these drawers. And I got this um, drawer thing from a Big Lots. So this is just what it looks like in a little overview. And then right next to their drawer, I have um, some of their Doctors Foster and Smith Western Timothy hay. And it's in a resealable bag. So that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started on what I have at the top of their drawers. Now the first thing I have is their homemade tunnel. Then I have their fleece, I mean not fleece, just a blanket that I use for floor time and then I have their playpen and I just put all their floor time stuff on top because as you can see I have no more room and then on top I just have some doctors Foster and Smith catalogs that I like to look through so here's just a small pet one a dog and cat one a cat one and for birds so I just like to look at these and see if I would like to spoil my pet some more and behind this I just have their Midwest cage divider and then I also have the top to it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with um, the first the first drawer and the first drawer just has their trees and pellets and I also store some things in here as well. So the first thing I have over here to my right is a Tupperware container that has their Oxbow adult guinea pig food, which they are running low on, which I am going to buy them some more tomorrow. And then right behind that I have their um, hay rolling ball dispenser. And it just has little rabbits little bunnies don't know if you can quite see those and then here's another piece to it and then right over here I just have their Vitacraft nibble rings and this is what it looks like they're just little rings and then right underneath that I just have their Oxbow Timothy twist and here's Blackjack and Blaze, they hear me crinkling. <laughs> you can see Blaze right there. <laughs> okay, so in the next one, I just have this um, bowl that I got from Petco, and then this veggie 
um, basket that I got from PetSmart. And in this bowl, I usually put their veggies in. And then over here, I just have a little treat container that I got from Family Dollar. And it just has their Oxbow veggie treats. And I also put the um, expiration date. And here's what they look like. They're just little hearts. And then the next thing I have is just some extra water bottle holders. And then I also have this Lixit Exit Odor crystals that you just hang on a cage to help eliminate odors. And that's all I have in that one. And here's a little overview of everything. Okay, so moving on to the next one. And please excuse my nails. I know they're really bad. I need to do them. <laughs> okay, so in the second one, I just went ahead and labeled it bedding. But it just contains all of their fleece items. So the first things you see in here are their two fleece blankets that I got from a Walmart. And they have one in their cage right now, so I have three. So I'm just going to take everything out. And then underneath that, I have some potty pads. And the first potty pad is a puzzled one with a lime green back. And then I have a paint splashes one. And underneath those, I have a um, large tribal print one. And then underneath that, I just have some newspaper that I like to put underneath their fleece blankets for their cage. And then right over here, I just have a, their Ninja Turtle um, cuddle sack. So this is what it looks like. And then I also have their Ninja Turtle cuddle cup in here. And underneath that, I have their Midwest... Um, cage ramp cover so when I used to have their divider um, it had a little ramp and this is what I would use to cover it with and what it came with so here's a little overview of their fleece items so on to the next one I just have their cleaning and grooming supplies and I also store some things in here as well so over here, I just have this little band that I also got from Dollar General, and I got a green one as well. So the first thing I have in here is their Natural Chemistry Healthy Habitat Natural Cleaning Product, and it's just a spray, and I use this to clean their cage and also to clean their like pig glue and puzzle house. And underneath that, I just have their Hearts No Odor Bedding Spray that I like to um, sometimes put on their Aspen Wood Shavings when the urine gets a little strong. And right in the middle, I just have their Nature's Miracle Deodorizing Cage Wipes for small animals. And there's just one wipe left, but I'm not going to be repurchasing these because... I feel like the smell is really strong and I feel like that might irritate their nose. So yeah, there's just one left, but I'm not going to be repurchasing these. And underneath the wipes, I just have a Petco hay rack. And then I also have their um, Petco crinkle tunnel that I use for floor time sometimes. And then in this little green bin, I just have their grooming supplies. And the first thing in here is some quick stop powder. And this is um, if you accidentally cut their quick, um, you can put this powder on the nail to help it from bleeding. So I haven't had to use this yet, so I'm very thankful for that. And then I just have their nail clipper scissors. This is what they look like. Oh, and I got this powder from... Um, Doctors Foster and Smith and I got these two items from Amazon so here's the brush that I use and then I also have some ultra care flea and tick spray that I got from PetSmart 
And then last but not least, I have this KT Squeaky Clean Critter Shampoo that I got from Amazon. And then I got this from Doctors Foster and Smith. Um, it was actually in my haul. And then the Hard Snow Odor Bedding Spray, I got that from Walmart. So here's an overview of the last drawer. Okay, so that's it. So right now, I just want to say um, a huge thank you to all of our subscribers. I just checked and we have 32 subscribers and, you know, I'm just very thankful. I'm glad that I get to share um, my first time experience with guinea pigs through YouTube. And, you know, through um, our channel, I hope to share our experience and to give advice and just also to receive advice as well um, through the comments you know and I just like to make these videos you know for people if they're interested in get, getting guinea pigs and just um, also like I said just to share my experience with them because I am a first time guinea pig parent and you know but I just want to say I truly appreciate it and um always leave us comments you know i like looking through the comments and everything so um also in the comments leave a any video request down below i'd really like to see what y'all guys would like to watch and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you're not subscribed already so i hope you enjoyed this video guys have a good day bye